Hi everyone, this is an announcement to let you know that after these readings are released, I'll be changing the name of this channel from Peace, Love and Tarot to Wild Lotus Tarot. I just felt that Peace, Love and Tarot was no longer in alignment with myself and with my message, so I wanted to choose a new name and I've always loved the lotus because it's a symbol of spiritual transformation and also because it appears on what is I'm sure all of our favorite card and that is the ace of cups so if we just have a look down here they are lotus flowers on the surface there and you know the idea is that the lotus flower you know it starts its journey as a seed, you know, in the mud at the bottom of the pond, and it follows the light through the water to the surface where it blooms as that beautiful flower. And, you know, it's a symbol of the transformation, the journey to open ourselves to love, to self-love, to, um, you know, to the divine. So I love that idea. I think it's a beautiful symbol. That's why I've chosen that name. And I see, you know, my purpose with this channel is to help you um, you know, access that wild lotus inside of you and to help you on your journey of transformation, whatever that might be for you. So um, next time you tune in, you'll see the new name. Um, I've already started changing the channel art, so it's going to be a little bit inconsistent for the next week or so. Um, and just while you're here too, um, before we start your reading, I just want to say thank you so much for being here, for your subscription if you've subscribed, for every like, comment and share. I really do appreciate it. You've really helped me grow my channel. I'm very passionate about tarot and I love bringing you these readings and I really hope that you'll join me in my new journey as Wild Lotus Tarot. So for now, let's go to your reading. Welcome back Gemini. This is your weekly intuitive tarot reading for May 25th to the 31st. Uh, last week of May, really can't believe that it's gone so quick. It's been such an insanely crazy year, especially for us here in Australia, going from, you know, the bushfire situation straight into COVID. Um, yeah, lots of intense energy. Uh, I've gone through changes as well. I'm also changing up my tarot channel, as I've just told you. Got a bit of a new look spread here, back to my plain black table, which I'm really loving. So let's get into some tarot. Um, I'm doing fixed positions this week, so we have some oracle cards here, which we'll start off with. We have in your uh, recent past, the beautiful star and the four of cups. In your present energies or focus energies this week, we have the chariot and the queen of crystals. And we have in your future position or outcome, ace of wands and the amazing star seed card, which is the full. So lots going on, Gemini. I can see that the theme for you is, um, you know, leaving behind what doesn't serve you leaving behind anything that's toxic that's not in alignment I've got a sense of a you know shedding the skin um, you know moving forward into a fresh new start and what a start it is it's a bit of a bang with the ace of wands and the fall card there so uh, it's really exciting I think you're leaving behind things that haven't fulfilled you there's a sense of moving on from something that may have been unsatisfying or even a little bit boring in a sense you're completely finished the chariot really is a firm um, fixed decision of moving on so let's um, kick off with the oracle cards before we go to the tarot. So I'm just going to shift the wand here. I didn't actually think where I'm going to put that. Let's put it down here. I'll put it over there actually. Okay, we've got trust the niggle and we have satvya. So let's start with the satvya card there and then I'll read out trust the niggle to you. So satvya from the yogic um, path deck. Now this one's all about purity and clarity. So it's about letting go of the things that are holding you back and reaching new new levels of clarity. Um, you know, it's about, it says again here about releasing what's not aligned with you, what's not aligned with your truth, so that you can actually continue your path forward with clarity. And it says here about shedding as well, um, and that, you know, your thoughts and, and everything is becoming much more clear. And in that process, the path forward becomes more clear as well. So... I always think it's interesting when I pick up the book and it just sort of, um, it kind of mentions what I was thinking anyway. So, you know, we see that in your path here, it really links in with this kind of moving on energy that we have. And as part of this clarity that's going on for you, um, you're really being uh, asked to tune into and trust your intuition because it's saying that, you know, whatever you're getting in terms of visions or dreams or gut feelings or heart flutters are going to be on point this week. So... There is some kind of um, niggling feeling or, or something that's trying to get your attention or 
some kind of intuition that you need to take seriously because there's a message trying to come through um, for you this week. So I'll just read that one out and then we'll go to the tarot. The annoying niggling feeling. Try as you might, it's there and it's not going anywhere. Most people spend years ignoring their niggling feelings, throwing their best dollops of stubbornness, ego and post-rationalization to numb them out. It's exhausting and until you face the niggle, life just throws you more bait to awaken it to draw your attention to the light within you that is bursting to come out, but like the star guys. The niggle is an arrow pointing to what is standing in your way, the relationship, the conversation, the decision, that shift that needs to be made, the stone in your shoe. Well, I wonder what it was for you, Gemini, that was in your way, but I get the feeling that whatever it was is already potentially for many of you in the transition of falling apart or it has already come down around you. Because in the recent past, we have the star energy and the four of cups. Now, I was going to check if you can see that if I hold the camera like this, I'll just give you a bit more focus on it. There we go. Because you see here, guys, you know, the star energy follows on from the tower and the major arcana. It's actually the calm after the storm. So I feel like some of you may have gone through tower moments in the recent past. And of course, uh, that can sound like a generalization because many of us are going through that because of what we're facing in, in, in our lives at the moment due to the... The COVID situation, many of us have um, lost permanent jobs, have had to rethink how we do life, have been in quarantine with, in, with our partners and maybe we've seen sides of them, maybe we've, you know, our relationships have come to a head as well. Um, there's some kind of situation here that I feel that the tower has fallen and that you're in the process of working through that. Of course, timing is fluid in these readings, so some of you might be still going through that at the moment. Um, the Four of Cups can have the sense of having come to terms with a situation that wasn't uh, fulfilling you on an emotional level and potentially you might have been aware of this for some time and already started to pull your energy away from it and um, you may have been tested. The, you know, the partner could have you know, tried to continuously get your attention or apologise or make up or push it harder. Uh, the same could be in a, in a work situation. Maybe... Um, you weren't happy in that role, it naturally fell away, there might have been a tower moment and now with COVID kind of wrapping up, you might be tested, you know, are you going to go back and, and be on that corporate um, you know, hamster wheel or are you going to go your own way? I'm getting that sense that there could be some form of test of whether you're going to continue going in your own direction um, or you know, choose things that are now uh, aligned with who you are because I feel like you've gone through a transformation or are you going to go back to that comfort zone? But either way, the star is coming in to, giving, to give you that healing, that sense of rebalancing that you need to get your life back on track. I feel like some of you might be feeling quite vulnerable at the moment. I've got two nude characters or partially nude characters in this reading. Because I feel like whatever you, you've lost in that tower moment is a feeling of stripping away, of shedding the skin. A lot of us can have um, much of our identity you know, caught up with the kind of work we do in that career. And when that's taken away, there can be a moment of well, who am I without being defined by that? And we start to realize that our jobs and our relationships aren't our identity. So we start to get uh, to know our true essence, maybe for the first time ever or in a very long time. The star is about regeneration, healing, being reborn. We have a huge new beginning here. So this is about you letting the remnants um, wash away, letting things rebalance before you go into that new beginning, that powerful new beginning energy. And the star, I mean, you've, well, if you were unfulfilled in this situation here, Gemini, the star card is actually the card of divine wish fulfillment. This is the time to manifest, to really trust your intuition in the direction that you want to go, because it's likely that things are going to become tangible pretty quickly for you. Okay, so in your current energies this week, we have the Chariot and the Queen of Crystals. Now, the Queen of Crystals is the Queen of Pentacles, and she actually kind of reared her head when I was pulling the Rider card. Um, so I wasn't surprised when she came out of this deck as well. So let's just go zoom on that. 
Right, so again we have the sense of moving on here and moving on in a very victorious way. So the chariot is about leaving behind the old, maybe leaving behind the sense of home, the comfort zone. Some of you might even be relocating after this COVID situation is um, is over because there's a sense of finality to whatever it is that has come to pass in this situation. And the Queen of Crystals, you know, she links to Capricorn and of course Capricorn is the card of the devil. So this is about you guys now releasing what has been toxic in your life, cutting energetic cords from situations that just weren't working for you, you know, leaving behind any uh, old illusions or um, you know, addictions or codependencies. It's time to shine in your own individuality here and move forward to the new beginning that you're truly supposed to be going forward on at this stage in your life. The Queen of Crystals is about now refocusing your energies, really deciding on that direction, making new manifestations, making new wishes, and then going for it. She is a master abundance creator. She knows how to, you know, um, to come up with a manifestation, to focus her energies, because she knows that where her, you know, energy goes, thought goes, the energy flows and things expand. So definitely be careful with your abundance create, creation. Put your energy in the right direction this week. And the chariot is about um, making clear, aligned decisions in order to propel yourself forward. You know, you can see here that this heavy stone chariot is drawn by two sphinxes, but there's no reins, just a magician's wand. And the, magi and the sphinxes are kind of angled in different directions in order to bring them into alignment so that they can propel forward together. We need to be really, once again, coming back to that clarity of direction, you know, um, making clear decisions, not being indecisive, you know, balancing what's out of balance in your life using your will and intention like the magician that is the key for moving forward in a victorious way so you're yeah, definitely you know using your intuition as a guide this week for that love the chariot and then in your near future guys this is the here's the big cards we have the ace of wands and star seeds so this is the fall and the ace of wands so Nothing says, you know, passionate, enthusiastic, new beginning than these two cards here. It is really likely that you are going to get some opportunities or offerings coming in for you, maybe at the end of the week or in the weeks to come. Um, the Ace of Wands can be a passionate new offer. So yes, if you are looking for love, the potential can be there for that. Um, if you think that the situation relates more to work and career for you, it could be an opp opportunity coming in for work or a job that really, you know, is on point with your passion and purpose that you're going to feel energetic and inspired by. There can also be a sense of spiritual awakening as well with these two cards when they come together completely awakening to your new path a greater um, sense of consciousness as well with the other cards that i'm seeing around here you know but like anything you know aces um like any ace in the tarot guys these are the first card in each one of the suits so they are the seeds that we plant and when we plant a seed, we need to be like that queen of crystals who focuses on it, who nurtures it, who takes inspired action in order to expand that opportunity, in order to follow through. And the starseed card. Well, this card uh, says that you're about to embark on a whole new chapter, a whole new journey of your life. And it asks you to, to leap, to take a leap of faith, to trust, to have hope. To trust that you know this path is going to lead you to the destination you desire even though you're not quite sure necessarily what that is at this stage it's asking you to take those first tentative steps on the journey and trust that it will lead to you to where you um, you know are supposed to be in this part of your life so I love that energy it's very very fresh new beginning it asks you to leave the past in the past to take the limited baggage to trust your instincts and to start walking forward and it says that whatever is coming is going to be explosive it's going to be passionate um, if this is relationship energy for you it's going to be new fresh exciting um, this is about you reconnecting with your real heart with your true sense of identity uh, I think some of you are going to be feeling very very strongly renewed and reborn um, out of the situation so it's amazing energy guys I'm excited for you all right, well, Gemini, that is your reading. 
I do hope that you really enjoyed the reading. Um, just remember it won't be everyone's reading, it will be for those that it's meant for. Uh, do feel free to leave me a comment, I read them all, I love to know how it's playing out in your daily life. And I'll be back here with you same time, same place next week for another reading.